Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we are going to be starting a brand new blind playthrough as we continue on in the series of Halo. Today we are going to be starting for the first time Halo 3. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we are gonna be continuing on on this journey that we've started through the Halo series uh, with Halo 3. Uh, now, where we are picking up, we just finished Halo 2, the final episode, and we were left on a huge cliffhanger. And so many of you guys told me in the comments on that video, just imagine what it was like during that time when Halo 2 had come out and everybody loved that game and they were playing that game all the time, loving the multiplayer and playing that campaign and then finding, you know, there's there's Master Chief headed to Earth and he says, I'm gonna finish this fight. And then boom, the game ended. And that's all there was. And you had to wait three years to get to where we're gonna start today. I can't even imagine what that was like. And so I'm really excited to be able to dive right back into the story and continue going on with this story and seeing what's gonna happen from here. Uh, where we left off, Guilty Spark, 343 Guilty Spark was with uh, Sergeant Johnson and Miranda. And, um, and they kind of had their own art going on uh, while Arbiter had finally faced, uh, was it Tartarus? And we, he defeated Tartarus. And then uh, Master Chief had gotten on the ship where the, it was the Prophet of Truth, I believe, was headed to Earth. And what we found out recently, um, once we dove a little bit more into the lore, um, because our, previously as an in-between video, we just did uh, all the terminals. We, we watched all the terminals from Halo 1 and Halo 2. And, uh, and then we watched the trailers for Halo 3, but we learned that the Prophet of Truth was headed to Earth. I can't remember what he called Earth. They had a special name for it. But we found out that there was a portal uh, on Earth that would basically take them to the world where the Forerunners are. And so there's just so much happening here. All these different arcs is turning into a big galactic space opera. I love it, or uh, uh, soap opera, space soap opera. And so I'm really excited to see where this is gonna go. There's all this action and really great storytelling, really great voice acting. We got left on a hanger, and uh, and I really want to find out you know what's going to happen next, and we're going to do that coming up next. Now I don't know anything else about this game. I have been warned by the community here that Halo Three, uh, while it is really for some people some of the best uh, in the trilogy, really. But uh, just to remember that this game was not remastered. So uh, we did play Halo 1 on the Master Chief Collection and Halo 2, which was a masterpiece and just looked beautiful. Halo 3 did not get remastered. So we're gonna be stepping back a little bit, uh, kind of a step back on the graphics, but the story I hear is phenomenal. Some of you guys have said that Halo 3 is your favorite in the series. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing it and, and where we're gonna go from here. Uh, uh, I've learned a few things. I've learned that Arbiter's original name was Thel Vadimi, uh, and and so he you know, originally was on the planet that when when these guys, uh, the prophets who were the Sin Shayum, came, and there was this battle between them and the elite who were the Sang Hili. And so I, I'm learning the lore here, guys. And and there was this battle, and, and he was there, and he was like one of their great warriors. Uh, uh, Fell Vadimi, so uh, he he, you know, he obviously we found out he stood up to the prophets, and uh, well, actually he got punished because you know Halo got blown up, uh, but he's the arbiter now, which used to be a great badge of honor within their their race, and then got turned by the prophets into really just a, a badge of shame, and so I think I think it's time for Fell uh, Vadimi. I have to keep looking at my notes to remember all these crazy names. Uh, is going to bring honor to the name Arbiter once again, especially if he's siding with Master Chief now. I can't wait. I'm going to quit rambling. Uh, if you guys are excited about this series and you've been having a good time with this Halo series on this channel, make sure to click like on this video and also 
Don't forget to subscribe for more content. If you are not already a subscriber, it would really help the channel. Uh, you can hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And of course, you can always dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. $5 a month will give you early release content. You won't have to wait for these videos to hit YouTube. You can see them uh, as they are made and as they hit Patreon first. For $10 a month, you can get exclusive content because there are games that we are playing on Patreon that are for Patreon eyes only. Uh, but no matter what you sign up for, you can be a part of our Wednesday night exclusive live streams, which are so much fun over there at Patreon. The whole community gets together and we just talk about how each other's week is going and we play games and it's just so much fun. Uh, special thank you real quickly to our current list of patrons. I love you guys. I can't thank you enough for your monthly support and just being the first responders to the videos uh, as they come out, helping me out in the comments. It is so awesome to have you there. If you're out there and you would like shout outs in every single video, as well as be on this amazing list of names, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. I am rushing through my words, guys, because I really want to play some Halo 3. I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's dive back into this Halo universe. It is time to pick up the story. It is time to finish the fight. It is time to dive in to Halo 3. Well, okay guys, we are getting ready to dive back into the Master Chief Collection and play some Halo 3. Uh, super excited about this. Here we go, launch Halo 3. We have the arrival. I can see we got Sergeant Johnson right there in that picture. I've got my notes I took so I can remember some names and stuff like that. Uh, like the little guys, the little cute guys in the Covenant were called the Ungoy. I learned a little. I learned a lot watching those those terminal videos. Um, quick start, sure, why not? Um, easy mode. Oh, actually, you know what? You guys actually did encourage me to try normal, because I guess the easy mode's even more easy in this game. Well, let's just see the cinematic, and if we have to change it, we will. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Wow. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. I love Cortana. Can you guess? Luck. Luck? I think he's coming to crash on Earth! Oh, man! So cool. Was I wrong? All right. So you guys told me in the comments that one month has passed since the events of Halo 2. This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Oh no! You can't finish the fight when you're broken in half. <laughs> Gorman, his armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. What? Wake up, boy. Radio for VTOL. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving them here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, Master oh, Chief's back. Crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. <laughs> Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. She's with the grave mine. Sorry, sir. 
Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Look up here, sir. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay. Now down here? Good. Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. Kick off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. with us. Come on now. Fell fat of me. Got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy. We must go. The brutes have our scent. Then they must love the smell of green. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, here we are. Sierra 117. You guys said that the uh, the graphics weren't as good um, in this because of the... But it does hold up. It does. I can tell it does look good. And yeah, the cinematics aren't, you know, what the other games... Uh, especially Halo 2 because that was re remade, remastered, but... Uh, this this still looks fun, and I mean the story is what's gonna really shine through. I think. I'll give my scouts. Move out, quiet as you can. Okay. Walk it off. <laughs> is that the piece of ship Best that he wrote? Chief. In? Come on, I'll lead you out. Okay. Bravo team, this is Johnson. We got him. All back to the extraction point. Over. Excited. Much of that. Reynolds out. Dude, you got some socks I can borrow? Is that a wolf? That sounded close. Too close. Johnson, you be advised. Hostiles are on the move. I've got eyes on a brute pack. Over. You say again, Gunny, you're breaking up. This looks good. Sergeant Major, Phantom inbound. We stick together and we're gonna get spotted. Let's split up. Meet back at the LZ. Chief, go with the Arbiter. Head toward the river. We're fighting with Arbiter, guys. Okay, down there, there's the Ungoy. Shark! 
It's been cracking me up is when I go through the comments, I have seen so many people say how much it drives them crazy that I kept using that uh, phaser or blaster or whatever, if it's like a covenant blaster. those um, those videos on the terminals because I know there was a lot of there was a, not a lot of disagreement but most of the community thought I should watch them some people thought I shouldn't I'm actually glad I did guys uh, just because it really brought a deeper I feel like I'm playing this with a better understanding now uh, just based on those videos and the comments I've had from people I feel like I'm finally wrapping my head around this is actually not convoluted in a bad way but it's a very uh thorough lore really when you get into the halo universe and you you start to kind of see the background of these races and their history and you know you start to get it's really good to be able to sit back and watch some videos to understand it a little bit more uh which brings i i it, to me, it's more enjoyable to play it with a deeper understanding, a better understanding of all of these guys and how they tie in with each other. and listen to the man. do it. I'm going to use a different gun this time. Come. Let's see. The landing zone is this way. Tell me its location. Kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, I couldn't stop him from doing that. Go let him get away. Or did I? Where 
to now? Up here, I guess. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. We got him. The river. Hurry. The river. We expected more of a fight. Whoa. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Could you watch me die? That was interesting. I wonder if that's her reaching out to Master Chief or if that's his own sense of guilt for leaving her behind. And also, it makes me wonder what what has happened to her with the time she got left with the grave mind. So, I mean, I wonder, does that affect her? I mean, he's an organic being and she's, you know, an AI, but is there some way? Obviously, he's got like this ancient wise mind melding like xavier from x-men kind of thing who knows uh, like if he's you know if that creature is able to somehow affect her as well uh cortana we got company so hustle up grenades hold them to bits okay. hold on we got a contact Break off now. Oh, silently killing him. Watch yourself. Hold the thruster. Hang on. Get a hold of her. Negative. We're going down. There's a fight going on. Do I want to keep dual wielding or do I want to pick up more weapons? Can't break those up. I like how this time you can reload. I love easy mode. I know some of you are like, what are you doing? I mean, it's a pretty deadly gun. one of these oh that's back to nope well all right let's do this oh wait 
There we go. Ooh, yeah. Fun. All right, let's see what we got. They got carbines. I wish you could. I wish there was a way to stay crouched. You guys were telling me that they finally added, I think by Halo 4, they finally had a sprint option. I wonder if it all in the series, there's also an option to um stay crouched as well and move crouched I'm worthy of my blades I mean I know you can move you can hold the button but I can't I have to leave my thumb on time. the B button Man, they, they, these guys are far more capable, actually, I think, in my opinion, based on what I'm seeing. They're able to do more than the, uh, Come on, you dumb apes. the AI companions in the other games. You gotta catch it. I'm gonna die. Nope. Oh, he's shooting at me here. This is a nice gun. Man, I like this. I don't know why you guys have always kept telling me, just use the plasma rifle. Just use the plasma rifle. Because I really enjoyed uh, trying different guns out. Let's play. Keep up the pressure. Sergeant Major went this way, Chief. Through the cave. Through where? Okay, I'll follow you guys. Is there a cave up here we go to? Oh, yeah.
be awesome if those were explosive. Quid pro quo. See how they bait their trap? I will help you spring it. Can I explode that? Oh, I think I shot me. I shoot my own guy in the head? Oh, we're out of ammo. Let's go get some. I used to really like the handgun. I guess I just drop down. can do with the Oh, that's my guy. Sorry. You just look like an enemy. They're showing themselves. Chief going in with the big axe. Oh my goodness! A little vacuum in there. Okay. I'll get him. You can't hide forever. <laughs> we will bring you down. Okay. Nice. Whoa. Now we need to get across there, right? Can I, can I bust up the boxes? It's too bad you can't. Okay. Oh, I like how there's like an arrow. Is that like an objective arrow? Offline. 
There we go. I need to get in there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> There's a door open right here. Keep moving, Marie. This isn't as fun as it looks. Cut the power. We're even, long as we're only counting today. Kilo 23, what's your ETA? Imminent, Sergeant. Find some cover. Got a clear path. Roger that, Hocus. Friendly gunship coming in hot. Okay. Stay alive. Ooh, okay. That's a good bad guy right there. I need to turn this on, don't I? Ooh. Is there anything I can do to turn those big guns on and shoot them? supposed to do stay alive that's all it says well, I can focus phantom There we go. I like how you can do that, how you can reload. I'm gonna, this is where you guys are gonna tell me in the comments I could have been doing that all along. Did it? All right. IFF confirm. Contact is Pelican dropship Kilo two three over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo two three? Sierra one one seven on board. Request priority clearance. Over. Next yours. Come on down. Nice. Well, I'm not going to stop there, guys. We've only been playing for a little bit, so let's keep on to Crow's Nest. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the commander her ace is in the hole. When they say tell the commander her ace, are you talking about Miranda? Hey, check it out. No way. A Spartan? For real. You better not be. Oh, man, he's here. We're going to be Where did you right. find him? Miranda. Napping. Out back. I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed. Woo! Someone say it. 
Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter, smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent bombardment were extreme. Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here, East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then they started digging. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Now the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark, where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. If he succeeds, humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy. The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Lord Good Hood. news, Commander Keys. Good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's your status, son? Green, sir. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan, but without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site, and his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk, but I'm confident... Hell, not again. Emergency generators, now! Uh -oh. Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let you him know... Are all of you vermin. Cowering in the dirt, thinking... What? I wonder... That you might escape the coming fire? No. Your world will burn until its surface is but glass. And not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage. The culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods. And I? I am their instrument. He's so delusional. Cocky bastard just loves to run his mouth. <laughs> Does he usually mention me? Give the order, we're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel, the wounded. Code Alpha we're 1. getting all of them out. Immediate evacuation. I have to carry them myself. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? To war. Oh man, here we go. We just lost the perimeter cameras. Motion trackers? They're down, or we're not receiving. Can't tell. Any of our birds squawking? No, ma'am. Wait. Overwatch has contacts. Phantoms closing on our position. Any birds less than five minutes out? Bring them in. Tell everything else to scatter. Aye, aye. Never thought we'd have this many wounded. The pelicans are going to take extra time to load. We knew they'd find us eventually. But we have a plan. Let's make it happen. Yes, yes, okay, secure perimeter defense. Auburn and I will guard the op center. Wow, that was really quite a cutscene. Um, it's neat to see everybody back together. We're, so we've realized that the portal that Prophet of Truth is looking for is in, was it, he said East Africa? I believe, um, and uh, we remember he wanted to get to the Ark. The Ark is where he can control all the Halos, but that was where he believed was possibly a resting ground for the Forerunners who may or may not even be alive. I'm not sure if, because I kind of got from the um, the information we got from the previous episode um, when we were looking at all the terminals and everything that um, when he was looking at the Ark, I think he was kind of saying, like, you know, yeah, they could still be there, but... Okay. So, secure perimeter defenses. Don't worry about the commander, Chief. I got him. Okay. Follow me, sir. Perimeters this way. I right, follow you. Here we go. Come on, sir. I'll show you the way. 
Ooh, weapons. Was built for some 20th century. Yeah. Full of old tech. With these door controls. Oh, classic. There. Get those turrets up! Watch your fields of fire! How'd they find us? Just smell you, man. Bite me. Sick of hiding anyways. Quiet! Cut the chatter. Cut the chatter. Point of entry! Best assessment! Tanger Sergeant! Agreed! Master Chief! Get there! Yep, okay, I'm assuming it's through here. Where with you, Chief! Yeah, get some! Loading done. Neutralize hostiles in the hangar? Is that here? We hit the button? Oh, there it is. On your six, sir. Go this way. Chief? Good. This channel is secure. My fire teams are spread thin. We can't hold out forever. I need that hangar clear for evac ASAP. Okay. Those brutes secure the hangar. We won't be able to get our birds out. Hold your line! They're charging! Look out! Oh goodness! Those little grunts did that! for a big fight. Down there. 
Look at me. I'm a killing machine. <laughs> They're still talking trash like they always have. Okay, that's not for me. That's for someone else. Chief, op center. Double time. The brutes are pressing hard. Okay. Get back to the op center. Oh, I like that there's an arrow now. That's really nice. That's a nice upgrade. A little quality of life thing. How many times did I get lost in the other games, you know? And I love them. Where am I going? This way, I guess. Hey, you hear that? Yeah, and I don't like it. Attention, hostiles reported outside the barracks. This way. Yeah, having your objective on the map, like show you where to go, that's. That was something I really missed in the other games. I really like that change in this. Barracks are under attack. All available combat teams respond. Anyone in the barracks, I need a sit rep now. This way? Sir, this way. Oh, oh no. Coming out of the vents. Line them up! Line them up! What the hell are those things, Sergeant? We fought those before. Full swarm! Oh, they can shoot through that. Okay. So many of them! My goodness! Did we survive this? A bunch so far, but whoa, gift with purchase. Or two now. Say. Where to? We help them with the bugs. Do we, I guess, go down here? Try to hook up a timer. It might go off by itself. Johnson. Uh -huh. You might want to put that out. Chief, have a look. A little going away gift for the Covenant. We've linked it to smaller charges throughout the base. Johnson, as soon as the evacuation is complete, start the timer. Understood. Good luck, everyone. See you on the last Pelican out. Follow me, Chief. Where's Johnson? He must be up here. Oh, this is it. This is the... Huh. I don't see where Johnson is. 
You said follow me, Chief, but I don't know unless I. Oh, he's way up here. Sorry, guys. Roots have taken the barracks. Marines are trapped inside. Those apes ain't much for mercy, Chief. We both know what they do to prisoners. Okay. Get to the barracks. Save those men. Let's go. And escort them to the landing pad for evac. Hi guys. How's a good throw? I really don't mind the easy mode in this, by the way. Running out of ammo with this gun, though. Is there a way to um, rescue Marines in the barracks? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. where I came in, right? I think. What am I doing? Shotgun? That's fun. Um, okay, where do I go? Barracks? Where's my little pointer thing? How do I get that again? Are there any buttons that... Not that. The mouse over here. Sorry guys, it's happening again. I'm getting turned around. Don't know where to go. Oh. Anything good? It's always a jump scare and everything for me. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna die drop? Nope. Call 
I wonder if she's been corrupted by Gravemind at all. Oh my goodness! We have an infestation problem. Okay. What's up, Arby? Arby's? The brutes have taken your soldiers. As prisoners or meat for their bellies, I do not know. In case some yet live, let us be careful when we shoot. Okay. Oh man. Please. Your allies. I like this gun. My goodness, there are so many of these brutes. Great job. Weapons? See if I can pick up anything. Got some. Now we're talking. You stole my kill. Did all we could. Let us move the survivors up to the head. Here is a lift out. Hey, look. Our favorite little gun. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Yeah. You know they are more fun to fight than elites. So long, old pal. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Center. Roots attacked in force. Couldn't hold them off. Throwing it back to the hangar. But don't wait for us. What should I do, ma'am? Hold position. I'm not leaving without him. Was I supposed to let them on with me? <laughs> oh, no. 
got movement above and below. Crews. They've got jump pads. They're going after the thrusters. Shake them off, Lieutenant. Goodness for easy mode. There's an extra battery. I am. Uh, okay, is there anything over here I want? battle oh my goodness let's go this way roots in the op center they disarmed the bomb I'm sorry commander there were too many oh no. even for me chief get back to the op center kill those brutes rearm the bomb I've got to get these men out of here but I'll radio with another exit. Good luck. Cloaking? What did I just throw away? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Back to the op center. I need those arrows again. To do that, I need to go back to the elevator. Nope. Um, oh, good. So it, it looks like what it does, it gives you a chance to find your way, and then the arrow shows up, like when it senses you need help, I think. I was trying to use my grab. Not my grab, my uh. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know what that even was. I was trying to use the cloaking thing I picked up. Nope. All right, I, I guess 
guys, I apologize. Please don't make fun too hard. I, I just, there's something, there's a different gaming dynamic that I'm trying to get used to. I guess we can pick up things and using the left bumper, we can, they're only like, I thought like when I picked up that cloaking device thing, that meant that I could permanently be cloaked and I had to, and if I didn't want to use that power again, I could trade in for a different one or whatever that to assign to the left bumper. I didn't realize it's all one-time use stuff. Uh, so, okay, good to, good to know. That's that's new. That wasn't in the other game. service tunnel to the motor Okay, I have a deployable cover. Get you, big boy! I was kind of hoping these guys would be on our side by now. Here we go. We're going in for a big battle, I think. We have taken their command center. Have you discovered how they plan to stop? Got him. That did it, Chief. Bombs armed. We got your exit. A service elevator in the hangar. Okay, we're out. Downstairs, cut through the caves. Downstairs, he said. Follow them. They know where they're going. We're out of here. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. Oh. There will be a great deal of hardship on the road ahead. Especially if you keep appearing in front of my face while I'm trying to escape a bomb going off. Please! I mean, this could be it too, right? We're not. It was that side door. There it is. way guys I don't know where I'm going there we go 
Who? You will become the best I can make you. Okay, thanks. Can we have this conversation later, Cortana? Wait, no, come back! like it now, huh? All right. Savo Highway. That's where we're going to pause it for now. Um, and guys, that was awesome. What an incredible beginning as this continues on. Um, I know a lot of you guys had mentioned that... Um, Really, Halo 2 only had like eight or nine months to get made or something. And so, which is crazy considering it's like one of the greatest games ever. And um, the originally, it sounded like they were going to try to finish the Halo story with Halo 2. But then they couldn't, so they decided to make a Halo 3 and take the ending of Halo 2 and tack on more game to it. And uh, so it makes me wonder if all of this stuff I'm playing would have been involved in the final level of halo 2 um but it's still this is this is super fun i'm glad i got a whole lot more halo to go through um but the, what a great beginning to this game and uh, i am so excited to go through this with you guys so that's gonna be the end of this episode well okay guys that's gonna do it for this episode and what a great way to kick things off with halo 3 uh there are definitely some things in this i like i think they've improved a couple things uh, i mentioned before um for as many times as i got lost and kind of turned around in halo 1 and sometimes in halo 2 it's actually really nice that like if you're getting a little lost in this it gives you a little marker a little arrow to kind of show you where you're going i like that that's a nice quality of life difference um i will say that even though the graphics are from 2007 and they're not uh what you know like we saw with the remake of halo 2 uh guys this game still holds up it's a lot of fun to play uh the story is there we're picking things up still even though the graphics are older it, the story still continues and it's great to kind of see where we are on earth um we know now that the prophet of truth has found the portal on earth on in east africa and that is to get to the Ark so that he can control all of the Halos and just wipe everything out. Kind of makes me wonder what, I, I guess that's a part of what he thinks is the journey or the path um, is, is just to wipe everybody out. Because why else would he do that, right? Um, you would think that the journey was just to get to the Ark, but apparently that's not. It, it, the Ark is, maybe, maybe it's called the Ark because it's an escape from all of the destruction. I don't know. Maybe that's where the Forerunners went? Ha! Huh, so many questions, and I'm so excited to see answers to them uh, as we go through this. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, make sure to click like, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. You can hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And of course, you can always dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to Patreon, uh, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Always a pleasure to share these gaming experiences with you guys. I'm really excited that we're now in Halo 3. And uh, just from all the fun stuff I've heard you guys talk about with it, I'm really excited to see where this trilogy is going to go. And it's funny because I know everyone talks about the core trilogy, uh, but then there's all these other games, right? Like Halo Wars and ODST. And uh, you guys have been kind of laying out some of the chronological order. So I know some of those games still kind of take place during the trilogy. But also besides that, like with Halo 4 and Halo 5 and now Halo Infinite, 
uh, all of these different Halo games, um, it makes me wonder what's coming next. One thing we do know is that 343 Guilty Spark said that besides a the librarian, there was something else with the Prometheans. And if the Prometheans come, there was him, or he's like, he will come. And you know, he's way worse than the flood. So I don't know, that might be like a future enemy down the line. I'm curious to see how that unfolds. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm having a blast with Halo and I hope you are too. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. See you in part two, uh, but until then, Take it easy. Searching for greatness.